today I'm gonna reenact my worst nightmare, getting attacked by someone in my own home. I'm always paranoid and I have an active imagination, so I just wanna be prepared. When I was a kid, someone wow. broke into our house. The guy came through my window. I was in my bunk bed. I just laid there quietly. My dad heard the guy and just chased the motherfucker out of the house. I've just always wondered what I'd do in that situation. Like if I was holding groceries, I would swing my bag at them. I feel like in my own home, that's when I feel safe. So I'm pretty terrified of someone invading it. I think when you feel the safest is when you can be most vulnerable. And I think this is a good thing to know how to protect yourself in case something like this happens. So I'm gonna talk to you all today a little bit about how to stay safe if a home invasion occurs. First thing you need to do is make sure your house is safe. Make sure that you have good locks on the doors, make sure that you have good windows, an alarm system. But one of the best deterrents is a dog. And it doesn't have to be a big dog. We all have dogs. It can be a little dog like this. We did it. If all else fails and you find yourself the victim of a home invasion, I want you to think of three things. Run, hide, fight. In this house, you could probably run back here the number one tool in this room is barricade the door. Prevent them from getting in. Escape out the window. Call for help out the window. Hide in the bathroom. Shut the door. Lock the door. Call the police. Look around in the bathroom for things that you could use in case you have to fight. You have a spray can here. Spray them in the eyes. If they have a weapon, you want to push the weapon away from your body. But as far as places on the body you want to attack, eyes. Gouge the eyes if you have to. Hit them in the groin and then Escape. You got a second room in this house. Run, shut the door, lock the door. As you're coming up the stairs, think. There's a stick there, that could be a weapon. I'm gonna grab that. You got a fire extinguisher, throw it down, hit him in the head. You got a chair, throw it down, hit him in the head. Break a window, make noise. Let somebody know what's going on in your house. And the number one thing to remember is be determined to win. That's what's gonna be the difference between you making it and you not making it. If they have a gun, do you still hit them with the chair? You hit them no matter what. Okay. Some people will say, well, you may anger them. Well, don't you think they're already angry they came into your house? I mean, nine times out of 10, they just don't walk up and kick the door in and run in. They use a roost to get into the house. Posing as someone that you would trust. Anyone coming to your house unannounced, ask for their ID, show it to you through the door. Once the door is open, you lose. I thought wait, we were being invaded. Wait, this doesn't help me in my home at all. I signed up for this video because I was paranoid and wanted help saving myself. Are you guys game for it though? Fuck yeah. Are you game healthy? Do I get a gun? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm done. My plan, I was telling Maggie, is we should stick together. Yeah. I think that's the, our biggest uh -huh. thing. We don't know what to expect. We don't uh -huh. know how many people are coming. We don't know how they're coming in, where they're coming in from. It's kind of like the fantasy of being like the final surviving girl in a horror movie. Like you look really badass when you do it, but like in real life. <laughs> I, we thought that was an intruder. I love myself. Sorry. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I think I might have left it in here. It's super weird. Uh, I got everything, I got everything. My phone is gone. SOS! <laughs>
We win! We win! <laughs> yeah! I'm sorry! Kane! I'm sorry! Oh, Kane's gone! Where is he? Alright, I don't know the time. I'm like about a block away. This is my protection in case someone else is outside. I can't believe I thought a bowl was a viable weapon. I have a bowl! <laughs> I'm not afraid to use it. I'm so proud of Maggie though. She like slipped out the window like a ninja. <laughs> I didn't want to hurt anybody. I'm glad I didn't have to hurt anybody. And we got the jeweler and the drugs, and that's all that mattered. I feel really bad that I'm the kind of person who would just like ditch everybody and leave. Before that, we were like, we should stick together. And I was like, yeah, we should totally do that because that's the right thing to do. I was like, nope, deuces, I'm out. And I feel terrible about it. I've got survivor's guilt. He hey, left his phone charging here. Can you hear them? What are they talking about? But he got someone else to send me an SOS. Oh, that's epic. My dog's gonna be jealous when he smells you today. Aww.